And so the conversation turned. Until the sun rose up. Yes, uh, with Slowpoke, it's not until the sun rose down, it's until the sun rose up. Which, um, yeah, Slowpoke is really slow with conversation, so it's, uh, it's, uh, more than you have to do now. Thanks, uh, thanks you two. You, you guys seem really good friends. Hey there, guys. My name is Blake, also known as The Nerd, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Soul Silver. You wanna play with me? You talked to the Slowpoke for hours. Well, I, I guess you can play with me a little bit. Let's play a little chase, uh, chase and catch up with everyone else of what happened the last time. Which, we bypassed very quickly Route 32, bypassed really quickly Union Cave. We quickly toured a Zella Town, but we did actually help out uh, Kurt with the Team Rocket Infestations in the Slowpoke Well and all the Slowpoke are well. Speaking of, I want to talk to Kurt because I believe now the ball that we sent him, or the white apricorn, should be done and we should have a fastball. In second generation, it doesn't make sense considering the fact that I think it was only white, but now that belongs to the premier ball and the fastball in this generation is, if I can show you guys, is like a basic pokeball but except it's a little brownish red and it has some yellow in it. You'll, you'll see when we get to the on-screen stuff, but um, that's all I wanted to do. So in this episode, as I grab this Apricorn here, I'm going to head over to the gym since I think we're more than prepared for the gym. I, I think we're, we're golden, although I may actually... I have two Super Potions. Uh, I'm actually going to buy... Uh, no, I'm good. I'm good. If I need to buy potions, I can do that at a much later point. So here we are in the Azela Gym. Yo, Challenger! Bugsy made this gym. It's a huge nest of Bug-type Pokémon. Bugsy's young, but he's a master of Bug-type Pokémon. It's going to be tough without my advice. Okay, so he does mention that Bugsy is a guy. If you're like me, and you grew up with Gold and Silver, you might have thought that Bugsy was a girl. Trust me, I've been down this route before, and don't worry, I know exactly how you feel. Now, this gym... <laughs> this gym contains an egg hatching. Hatch the egg to complete the gym! No, okay, but I, I'll go on to the gym later, but... Egg hatching! In this game is different compared to Gold and Silver. In Gold and Silver, if a Pokemon hatches, it will be at level 5. Not the case here. In... Wow, sassy, that's like the third time. I've recorded this three times, and I got distracted so many times that I'm actually annoyed, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna keep rolling with it because I'm not as annoyed as I used to be when I was younger. Trust me, I would be complaining a lot if I was much younger doing this. But the Pokemon will be at level 1, a la the Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, whereas in 3rd and 2nd generation, it would be level 5. Reason for that, it makes sense. They just got newborn. They, they don't grow 4 levels by being in the egg. I mean, they could if they count experiences as like, if they count steps as experience, but, or warmth of a mother, if it was that, but I don't think even that would happen. I don't know. I really don't know. Anyways though, I think, well, get back to the gym. I was about to say, I think I am going to take care of the gym now, but I'm already at the gym. But this, a lot, way better in my opinion, actually 10 million times better, than the Azalea Gym in Gold and Silver, where you were just walking around until you got to the center and found a tree. Here, you can take one of these spider paths, or these spider vehicle things, and depending on which one you step on, it will follow a certain line. Always take the one to the left if you want to go straight forward. Uh, take the one, I believe, in the middle if you want to go to the trainer, I believe. I don't remember because I always skip that one. I don't think it was actually that useful. But I love this so much more as a concept than just walking to a trainer, battling that trainer, walking to the next trainer, battling that trainer. Oops, did you miss a trainer? I think there's some on the right. You better go to the right just in case there's some trainers you might have missed. And then eventually ending up towards a gym leader in the tree in the middle of the building like it was in Gold, Silver, and Crystal. I could say that for like three out of the eight gyms in, in uh, Gold, Silver, well, actually, the first three in Gold, Silver, and Crystal are pretty boring, actually, in my opinion. Especially compared to later gyms, not only in the second generation, but much later on in many different games in many generations. They can pro they prove that some of the gyms can be very, very puzzly. And even in second generation, this works so well. But that's to put my thoughts in a nutshell, because I think I talked about this for 
Really long while, you know me, sometimes I talk to the point where I forget where I, what I want to say and then just end up going, so yeah, that, 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 that's a thing. And <laughs> I don't want to do that. Anyways, uh, Beedrill. I am going to switch to Reynolds because Reynolds has Volt Tackle and I would like Reynolds to grow at least a level. You're pretty close to 16. I think you're also going to get to 17 of this too, right? I believe so. I could be wrong with that. Let's see. Maybe we'll tackle you down to death. Take a little bit of HP, not bad, and you're gonna gain 612. I think it puts you puts you pretty close to 17, if I recall. Right? Yeah, pretty close to 17. That's fine. I think there's a double battle up ahead, and it'll be our first double battle in this how was that in the second generation. No, not in the second generation, but in this game. You see the switch here. If you want to face that trainer up ahead, that's what it's for. Pull this. Pull the, pull the lever cronk. But uh, if you don't want to do that, just ignore the lever cronk and just ride this all the way to the other side where you have to go towards this bird one anyways. And you are automatically into a double battle against these twins. Yes, double battles. Not introduced in second generation despite the fact that the twin trainer category was introduced in second generation. Not until third generation, they actually got their true double battles. It was weird because in second gen, despite there being twins, one of the twins would send out their Pokemon, and after that one fainted, the other twin would send out their Pokemon. It was it was really weird. I'm not gonna lie, it was one of the weirdest things out there, and I'm glad they fixed it for Heart Gold Soul Silver because twins twins are not the same when they're single. <laughs> I mean, in terms of single battles, I mean, the twins are not the same when they're single either. I mean. You can't have one without the other, and they seem like friends, unless they're teenagers, in which case they sometimes gonna go their own separate ways. Kinda of feels like it, at least. I don't know, do you, you... Are you guys twins of anyone, and so, what is your twin experience like? I guess that would be kinda of like a question, because... Because there are some parts... There were some parts of me that are curious, because I remember... Um, back in my school days, um... Being kinda of friends with twins, it was kinda of interesting, so... I don't know, is it like a twin thing, where like... You have the best chemistry and no one's gonna uh, slow you down or anything, that sort of thing, or... I don't know, what, what was your twinhood like uh, in your teenage years as well? Because I'm actually kind of curious about and interested about that. Anyways, pull the blue lever over here and just ride this red one all the way over here. And once you do that, you will make your way to the red switch. And guess what? Pull the lever, crunk, and make your way over to the gym leader, right over here. And I guess though I don't remember, so I don't forget to hold the blue lever <laughs> right here. Trust me, you'll thank me later for that. Anyways, Bugsy Ahoy! I'm Bugsy! I never lose when it comes to Bug-type Pokémon! My research is gonna make me the authority on Bug-type Pokémon! Let me demonstrate what I've learned from my studies. Okay, that sounded like a really bad attempt of an anime <laughs> student from some anime, I'm not sure, and I apologize for that. So Bugsy actually started out with his signature Pokemon very early as his first Pokemon, which is normally weird because most gym leaders use theirs last, but not Bugsy apparently. He likes to break the rules. Anyways, the Scyther's level 17 with the Technician ability, Bug Flying, Technician powering moves under 60 if I recall, because I've done this three times and yikes, yeah, I, yeah I, I've felt the power of this. With U-Turn, Quake Attack, Leer, and Focus Energy. What he's going to do with the Scyther is, it's going to have her use Leer, and then Focus Energy to try to get a crit on top of that, and then use moves like Quick Attack and U-Turn. Yeah, this is already a threat, and we're already into the second gym. This is only the second gym, and we're already feeling threatening. If you have an X-Defend, I'd actually highly recommend using it, considering the fact that it can be a lifesaver, because it, it, it automatically uses one Leer anyways, so best be safe than sorry. There's the focus energy, and thank goodness. Actually, it doesn't matter like with the deep. Actually, it would matter with the defense lawyer, wouldn't it? I imagine so. Hey! There we go! Burn right off the bat! Not bad! Okay! I like that. Oh, did it just go for a leer? It just went for another leer. Holy cow. I was not expecting that. Well... There's the citrus berry, but at least the goodness is is burned, so I'm not really worried. Especially now with the lyric, it probably would only do neutral damage 
instead of what I think it would have. Unless it gets a crit, in which case, that might be worrisome as well. Oh my gosh! Okay, there's the crit, but at least it didn't work. It didn't matter. This thing's down for the count anyways. That went a lot smoother than the first three attempts of me doing this, because there was one recording I actually got completely knocked out. There was also another time in which I had to switch some things around. Um, next one is Metapodded. And then this one, this one, I think it's gonna be smooth sailing from here on out. <laughs> Especially with this next upcoming Pokemon, which is Metapod. Level 15 with Shed Skin as his ability, pure bug type, with Tackle. Just... Tackle. I don't know why it doesn't have Harden, I don't know why it doesn't have String Shot, he must have caught in it. Has a Caterpie involved in it and was like, I, I, I should probably go to a Boofugger to make you forget. <laughs> Harden and String Shot because it probably wouldn't be necessary. <laughs> because it's weird, because in Gold and Silver and Crystal, the second gen, it does have String Shot and Harden, so... I guess since they knew these Cocoon Pokemon would not live, they decided just only one move per. Speaking of the other Cocoon Pokemon, here is Kakuna! And yes, our second gym leader in Johto without a Johto Pokemon as the signature Pokemon or any Pokemon in the slot at all. Weird. And level 15, Shed Skin, but Poison with just Poison Sting. Again, I don't know why, but it, one move, Pokemon exists. Wow, um, I'm actually really surprised by the result of this. <laughs> and I hope nothing stops this, because man, that was literally hot, because because Vulcan was doing all the work. I was smoking. <laughs> okay, I had to throw in some puns in there. <laughs> I had to throw in some puns. Anyways, with the Hive Badge, Pokemon up to level 30 will obey us, and Pokemon that no cut will be able to use it outside. Here, I also want you to have this. And he also gives us U-Turn, TM89. Now, to put U-Turn in a nutshell, Think of it as the option to switch Pokemon, except it's a move, and you do damage before you switch out the Pokemon. This is a very useful TM, especially in competitive terms, because a lot of competitive people use it to predict what the po predict switch is, or do a little damage as they're switching out to a Pokemon that can better counteract the Pokemon that's currently in front of them, and so many things. It's such a vers versatile move, so versatile in fact. That in 5th generation, it actually got Volt Switch, a special version of U-Turn, and I'm glad both of them exist. They are incredible moves, and of course, I'm gonna save it for one particular Pokémon. I'm not gonna say what it is yet, because unlike the rest of this game, this one in particular is exclusive to this playthrough. It's not an old one. Yeehaw! Anyways, once you actually go to the gym, or once you beat the gym, or you get defeated by the gym, and you hatch that egg, pro yeah, Professor Elm will call. I was doing well up to that one sentence, and then of course, it just goes downhill from there. <laughs> hey Blake, this is great news! A Pokemon hatched from that egg! I knew giving you that egg was a great thing to do! I just knew it! You should come here and show me what kind of Pokemon that is. Um... Elm, here's the problem. That's going to be a long walk, going through a cave, going through grass, going through a town, going through more grass, going through another town, going through more grass, and eventually reaching your house. So maybe later? Guaranteed, maybe later? And you know what's the most surprising thing, actually? I didn't need, need to use a single potion throughout the whole thing. So we're still solid on seven potions. Seven potions. That's nuts. <laughs> that is actually insane. But I am gonna heal though because why not? We've earned it. We've actually earned it. <laughs> it's great. It's really great. Short Pokemon to full health. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to switch into Reynolds since unfortunately she didn't really get to do much because of the bird and <laughs> The, uh, the crippling, I really wanted to switch in, but then I'm like, eh, I could do so much more with this. And I guess that's it for here. Onwards and upwards to... Oh, wait. Never mind, I guess they're still in here because you're here. <laughs> you're looking golden today. No? No? Okay, I'll stop. Tell me something. 
Is it true that Team Rocket has returned? What? You beat them? <laughs> Quit lying. Are you serious? Then let's see how good you are. I like him. He's shady, but he gets down to the point and is like, Prove it? Prove that you've beaten them. By battling me. And he starts up with the Ghastly at level 14 with Lick, Spike, Mean Look, and Curse. I think he's gonna Mean Look first, so... Mm, do you want a Bolt Tackle or do you want a Surf? Might as well save up my Bolt Tackle since I don't want to lose HP without the badges in case anything worse comes out. I'm just gonna Surf. <laughs> wow! What is with these crits? Holy cow! Does this episode one be short? Because... Wish granted, it's probably gonna be short because of that crit now. <laughs> he didn't even stand a chance. Oh, he's looks like he's sending on his signature Pokemon right now. Um, depending on your starter, this will be the middle evolution of the starter he's stolen. Since we have Kulava, it's going to be Krokna with Watagon Rage, Bite, and Scary Face. Twin Full Tackle. If it was Krokna, it'd be Bayleaf. Again, all of them level 18 with Poison Powder Reflect, Synthesis, and Razor Leaf. And if it was Chikorita you started with, it'd be Kulava with Leer, Smoke Screen, Ember, and Quick Attack. Basically, my Kulava! Put it in a nutshell. It would be my Quilava, except his Quilava. Hopefully that makes sense to you guys. I'm pretty sure it makes sense. And Pikachu is already at level 18 and it wants to learn Double Team. I'm gonna have to refrain from it because I think we're good with Bull Tackle, Surf, <laughs> Thunder Wave, and Quick Attack. I think that's a pretty good moveset for now. And his final Pokemon is Zubat, level 16 with Leech Life, Supersonic, Astonish, and Bite. Really not a problem for, for Reynolds here. <laughs> the thing is, he would try to flinch you with Astonish and Bite, or try to confuse you first, that'd be the first thing, but since we're OP, please nerf Sakurai Reynolds, we don't need to worry about that at all. But I am going to worry about another trip to the Pokemon Center. Jeez Louise. It's going to suck having Volt Tackles the only electric move for Reynolds, but... Rest assured, I think we might get another one later on. I do know the level I actually want to raise um, Reynolds to. Pokemon trainers. It doesn't matter who or what. I hate to see some of them hanging around. That goes for Team Rocket too. They think they're all big and tough. As long as they're in a group. But get them alone, and they're weak. I hate them all. You stay out of my way. You won't be an exception. If you get in my way. Someone's just a bucket of flowers and sunshine. Okay, sunshine doesn't go in buckets. What the heck am I talking about? <laughs> Anyways, though, with that being said, I'm actually going to wrap it up here since that's all I really wanted to do was take on the gym leader and take on a rival gold. More battles mean more fun. And this was to smooth this recording this episode. I am super glad for this. Thank freaking goodness. With that being said, though, join me next time in which we get the heck out of Azela Town since really there isn't any much more to do in here. If there's any episodes you missed, whether from the past or from the future, make sure you check them out in the playlist down in the description below, the eye on the top right corner, or the upcoming end slate. And of course, you can check out the older series that will be in the description as well. Which, again, will spoil... So I, I, I think you get the memo by this point. With all that being said, though, Pikachu, how are you feeling? Oh, I'm sorry, Reynolds. How are you feeling? I see, you're feeling really, uh, really smoking it, huh? <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. My name is Blake, also known as The Nerd, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. So, until we meet again, do remember to stay smoky. I mean, take care. <laughs>